God for each month is for a purpose. Last month, he gave us something, you know, a topic for last month, which I believe that every one of us run through it. This month again is going to do us good, and our life will never remain the same in Jesus' name. For today's topic, this month says, demonic strategy to rob you of your destiny. Demonic strategy to rob you of your destiny. I will be showing, you know, uh, things that need to do about us. Things that need to do, you know, about us fulfilling God's purpose. These are the things we'll be treating this month. I pray in Jesus' name, our life will never remain the same after this month's teaching in the mighty name of Jesus. So, demonic strategy to rob us of our destiny. So let me quote it as it's written. Demonic strategy to rob you of your destiny. Somebody may ask this morning, what is destiny? D-E-S-T-I-N-Y. Let's start from there before we go and read the word. The word destiny means from the uh, dictionary that to which any person or thing is destined. A pre predetermined state. A predetermined state. Comma, a condition predestined by the divine. A predestined state a condition predestined by the divine. What has been said concerning a person right from the beginning, what God said about that person, a condition predestined by the divine. And slash or by human will. By human will. God destined by, you know, the divine is God. But the other aspect is woman that destined it, as in that determined it. So we, are, we will be treating two points this morning about God, what God said about us, and what others and ourselves said about us. So that's the reason why we say demonic strategy to rob you of your destiny. And from my own definition, from, as in from the dictionary, I said a condition predestined by the divine or by human will. I pray the Lord will grant unto us wisdom this morning in Jesus' name. We are going to read two, two scriptures and, uh, you know, to, uh, to uh, put more points on what we have this morning. The first scriptural passage will be Genesis 29 verse 11. Genesis 29 and verse 11. And James chapter 1 verse 17. James chapter 1 verse 17. The first one says Genesis 29 11. Genesis 29 11. The second one James 1 17. So we are taking from both the old scriptural you know, our uh, uh, testament, we are taking from New Testament so that we can understand better this teaching. How, shall we please rise to our feet in God's honor, I mean, to honor God's word? Gen, Jer, uh, Genesis, Jer, Jeremiah, my lap, we, Jeremiah 29, 11. Who is there? Receive divine healing in Jesus' name. Jeremiah 29, 11. We are going to read after the count of three, one, two, three, three, um, one, two, three, let's go. For I know, you are not talking, are we not reading? It's not my word, wait, sir. We are reading the word together. Let's read, one, two, three, and let's go. That I have seared the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you what? An unexpected, thank you. Let's have the second Scripture, James, chapter 1 and verse 17. 1, 2, 3, and let's go. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of light, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. 
Do you understand our teachings now? Please have your seat. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Grant unto us wisdom this morning in Jesus' name. At the end of this teaching, our heart of understanding shall be open in the name of Jesus. So you are blessed. Praise God. So for the first scripture, we have read from the book of Je Jeremiah 29 and uh, verse 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I, I, I think towards you, see the Lord, the thoughts of peace and of e of not, uh, are not of evil, to give you an expected end. Here, we are shown that the plan of God for us is children is good and that our end will be great. When we talk about destiny, we've seen it. We say a condition predestined by the divine. We are the one who, who God has, you know, he has, this, he has destined us to be great right from the beginning. His plan for our life is good. And that's where we saw it in the book of Jeremiah 29, 11. That he's taught towards us. The reason why he created us is for good and not for evil at all. It's for good and not for evil. And in the New Testament, it's also clearly revealed to us that every good gift and perfect gift come from God. And with these two scriptures, we shall, ex we, we shall establish our point that when the issue of destiny is concerned, the plan of God for man is what? Is good. Right from the beginning, he has a thought, a good thought about us. He created us for a good reason. Reason, he wants us to be great. He wants our life to showcase his goodness. He wants people to look at us and see him in our lives. He wants people to see us at every level. He wants them to see him in our life. His thought for us is good. His plan for us is good. All God has in mind is for us to be like him. Right from the beginning. From the book of Genesis, you will discover that the Bible says, let us make man in our own image. God is a God that is full of honor and dignity. He's a God that everyone wants to emulate. Even up to now, we are praying, let me we be like you, Lord. So he has a good plan for us. His plan for us is good and not for evil. Now, I wrote something. I said, now the question I want us to answer this morning is that, or let's, let me put it this way. The big question I believe we should ask and answer right now is, why is it that some people struggle throughout life? Did God destine them to be like that? I wrote it. I said, no. Do some people have negative destiny? No. From where we read, we said every perfect gift is from, I mean, is from God. God gave the best. When he wanted to create a woman, which is the, the wife of Adam, the Bible said, he, he said, now this man, he, he has a good plan. He saw him that he cannot be alone. And that was the reason why he decided, let me create something that will look like him. So his plan for us is good. But why are we having issues? Why people are being, you know, struggling? And so many, some people are poor. They can't even afford to eat. Some, everything about them is, is going zigzag. Is it, are they destined like that? Is anything wrong with them? That is the questions we will be answering this morning. Let's look at the book of John chapter 10 and verse 17 to 18. John 10, 17 to 18. Let's look at it. John 10, 17 to 18. It says, Therefore, do I my father love me because I lay down my life that I may take it again. Verse 18. No man takes it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my father. He says, therefore, God loved me. He asked me to lay down my hand, my life. I laid it down. Nobody forced me. And yet, you know, I, 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 will I say, I define what destiny means from the beginning. Let's go back to it. Destiny means 
that to which a person or thing is, the, is destined. A predetermined state. A condition predestined by divine or by human will. Now, from here, it shows to us. Jesus said, nobody take my life from me. Nobody take my will from me. But I lay my life down by my own self. Here, we, we all have what, what we call freedom of choice. And that's the de definition I gave us. By human will, by our own self, we can determine. We can determine how our destiny will be, will, will look like. How our life will look like. How uh, we want uh, our life to be. We can be the one to determine this. Because Jesus said, I laid it down. They told me I'm going to suffer. From the beginning, they told me I'm going to go through a lot of pains. But nobody take my life from me. I've been determined that I will go through stress to get to where I'm going. But nobody take my life from me. I don't know whether what I'm saying this morning, you understand. Now, destiny, when we are talking about destiny, he talks about God having a good plan. But we can change it ourselves. We can change our destiny by ourselves. Because the thought of God concerning us is good and not evil. But the reason why so many people are going through stress, going through, you know, struggling through the life, I've seen people who suffered and suffered till they enter grief. Were they destined like that? In fact, they can't even afford to buy a good casket for them. Is that God's plan for them? Is that God's will for them? But a man can change his own destiny by himself. Also, the devil can do what? Push a man to do what is wrong. And at the end of the day, you determine your destination. You determine your destiny. Now, I wrote here, our text shows something very important. Jesus, our, Jesus said, I have the power to lay down my life. And I have the power to take it back. It means I can choose to lay it down. And I can choose to say no. I won't lay it down. It shows us that God gave everyone the power of what we call choice. He has given us the power to make choice of our own. I can decide that, no. I, could, I was sharing at times when I'm talking with my children, at times I tell them. I say, I have freedom when I was going on. I was the last card among six. So I was left with my senior brother. I have the power to decide on what I want to do because he doesn't even check on me. Giving my life to Jesus as 11. At times, I may go to church from morning till evening. I may come back and say, but I'm, I'm going for VG again. I have the power to mess up myself. I can determine to destroy my destiny. So many who are looking for the fruit of the womb today, they determine it right from when they were small. They determine it by doing what? Flirting around. Thinking, Chebe mi money life for me. Chebe mi money destiny me. I can do whatsoever I want. Now, doing what they want, they did not remember that there is something called future. That it will be needed. That thing they are toying with. We have a sister in our church. We were believing God for the fruit of the womb. We prayed and prayed and prayed. Until one of our sisters came and said, Mama, I said, what kind of a statement is that? We all were coming up. Kilo Muni, tell me what happened so that we will not go through stress. He said, she got pregnant. She aborted the pregnancy, but they did not do it well. So she was bleeding for more than a week. Before the mother got to know that she was bleeding, she did not tell the mother that she's going to, until when the mother noticed that, oh my, this girl, what is wrong with you? And that was how they rushed her, tried to put things in order. So, I told my sister, I said, ah, you people will have explained this. They will have taken her back. Do the necessary, do, do the needful for her on time. You wasted her time. Wasted her energy. Wasted us, even praying over what is not. But I know something is hidden, which I cannot understand. So, I have to use time. And the person, you know, members now, you will be the one to come and tell us. You will be the same person that will say, Emma Daru, call me. 
I've learned that in a very hard way. And nowadays, if you tell me anything, I will call the person. And I will call you. I did that one day, recently, this year. Because I made up my mind, if you tell me anything at the back, I will call the person in charge. So that you will not put me into trouble. We've done that for 20 years. And I made up my mind, if you tell me anything, Mama, I'm going to make a mistake. I will call the person involved. So, we were covering it, you know, out of... One again, ah, pastor, we don't want to scatter our sheep. Our sheep is very important to us. Thinking we are protecting. The same person that left me went to the person. Hello, son. Hello, son. So that they are stressed. They will not keep praying. So the person I came and said, hey, mama, I want to tell you something. I want to tell you. I said, say it. You know me, I, I understand what is going on. What is it? But the time she was saying, and when I was small, something happened. And this, I said, so, 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 thing happened to you. He said, ah, mama. I said, eh, who came to remind you? He said, so, so. I said, the same person was the one. He said, ha. Ah. I said, tell me everything about it so that we'll know how to pray. And we begin to pray. Okay, do this, do this, do this. Go there. Go to this so, so, so person. They will help you to do this. They will tell you what you will do, though it has been a long time. But there should be a way out. And that was how the solution came. But she never thought such thing would be at the, at the future for her. She already, 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 where for now. It's not for now, it's for future. It's for future. There are some things they can never, I can never say now, I want to go to the hospital to go and find out. It has never happened. When I was waiting upon the, for the fruit of the, I was not worried. In fact, my mother-in-law said, "Yeah, me see, why are you people give, getting yourself worried?" I said, "Nothing, oh, but you know, members now they will ask me where is my own children. When you get to say you are treating another person, so you see that they say where is our own. I said, ah, God just have to bless me, and that's the reason why I'm passionate about pastors' wife. I've gone through a lot for 20 years. I've gone through a lot." So I begin, I was not worried. The only thing I noticed, I pray Father direction and it directed me. But because my past was not rough. When we are talking about destiny, it needs to do about what God has said about you. It's for good. But you can determine how your life will be. How you will fulfill your destiny. If his it's plan for you is good, like all parents, we have a good plan for our children. So many of us have plans. Okay, how I wish it, my child has so and so say hey, she can graduate, she can do this and that. But you can change the plan. That is what we are talking about. God has a good plan for us. He prepared a good future for everyone. <laughs> God doesn't destine anyone, you know, in a negative way. He doesn't have a bad plan for anyone. But each an individual can do what can change God's plan and destiny can twist it into another direction. You know, so many of us, we, 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 we lie and say, it's the devil. The devil make me to do this. The devil, I told us, one, on the last day, he will come back and say, eh, I only entice you with this. Did I force you? Did I push you? Did I put your hand inside it? You willingly. So we have the power of what we call choice. You are the type you sleep at home. Everybody will be on, you know, at work, doing, their, doing everything, you are sleeping. You will not want to compare your life, your future, with somebody that is doing well, waking up as early as possible to work. Uh -uh -huh. The destination is different from each other. You are not going with my way. You are not going where I'm going. And that's the reason why your choice in life needs to do about your relationship. Those you relate with. Are they going far? Are they seeing where you are going? If not, then separate yourself from them and move to the next level. They need to do about everything. I, I make mention of something when, I, when we were treating a, uh, marriage. I, I can't remember one time, maybe last year. Papa will preach for the women, I mean for men. I will preach for men. And I came up that day, I told us, I said, the choice everybody make today, as yesterday, is what the, the result of what they are showing today. Some people were hungry and said, where did you meet your husband? Where did you meet your wife? 
Some of us in the disco party, some of us when we are going out, you know, doing all, you saw somebody on the way and you like the person, the way the person looked, and somebody find it, an husband or wife inside the church. Not only in the church, because not every Christian, not every good believer is in the church. But somebody met someone who is a God-fearing person, somebody that is going towards heaven, will their journey be the same? It's not possible. And some people were hungry. They said the message, Summer, eh, if you meet your own mama, met her own husband in the church, does that mean everybody? I say yes, even if you meet her husband in the church, it doesn't mean the person is going to heaven. But it's a choice. I made my own choice. Nobody picked anybody for me. So God, it shows to us that God gave everyone the power of choice. If Jesus our Lord has decided <coughs> to take back his life, as he almost did at the place of... You know, Jesus nearly said, I'm not doing it again. He said, ah, this thing is too much of the cup. He's very tough. Ah, ah, ah. My heart is painful. Ah, I'm going through stress. This and that. At the place of prayer. But he just, he just remembered the glory, the promise that God made to him. That you become the Messiah. The Bible says, he said, not my will, Lord, but let thy will be done. I will wait for you. I will allow them to do what you have promised. Because I want to become the Messiah. I wrote here, I said, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. If Jesus, our Lord, has decided to take back his life, as he almost did at the place of prayer, he would not have become our Messiah today. But he decided on his own to lay down in his life and place of the Messiah become his. Became what? Became his own. You can make up your mind not to go towards God's direction. He may ask you to go through this way. You may decide that I'm not going that way. I will go this way. It's your choice. But we must understand that any path, any way you picked up in your life, you will be the one to, to either enjoy or to suffer it. Matthew 26, verse 38, 39. Matthew 26, verse 39 says, And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but thy will be done. Jesus almost turned back and said, I'm not doing it again. No. Hey, they will beat me. Ah, they will give me so much. They will, they will do a lot of things. <clears throat> Name me on the cross. I'm not doing it again. Father, take this cup away from me. You know, he said, it. let this cup pass me by. Ah, it's not easy. I'm not doing it again. Ah, the journey is tough. This and that. I'm not going towards that direction. Oh, Lord, take it away. But the Bible says, the ba Jesus said, not my will. Lord, I'm sorry for saying it. But what I'm seeing in the front is painful. The journey is not easy. The I call one of our sister. I'm, I'm sorry to use this statement. One of us that we grow together in the same church, we are, we, we, we are raised in the same place, she started her experiencing some negative things recently. And I called some of our people that we started together. Do you know the next thing the person that I called said to me? He said, Mama, when we were going through it, they were thinking we are out of our senses. The God, we, they, they denied them. Now they are looking for him. We stick to God. The God they run, ran from is the one saving us now. Now they need the God. Where are they going to see him? And we begin to pray for her. Jehovah, glorify yourself in her life. Heal her, O oh God. The stage that she is presently. We know there may be no hope, but we know you can do it. But we grew up together. We, were, we started the faith together. But it doesn't determine whether we'll end it together. And that's the reason why you have the power of choice. You can turn back and say, I'm not doing it again. This journey of prostitution, I'm not doing it again. This journey of stealing, I'm not doing it again. This one that they will send me to school, I will not get there. I'm not doing it again. You can turn. You have the power of choice. God destined you to be great. He destined you to be mighty. To be a popular person. To be a blessed, a rich person. 
But you can determine whether you will, you will be like that. You have the power of choice. Let's go on. He says, this shows us that what, whatever give us whatever give us access or, or drive us far from the glorious plan of God for our lives are the kind of choices we make. People who struggle throughout life today find their slave in such realm because of the wrong choices they make in those days. They find themselves struggling. So many of our mates, you can testify. At this level that you'll find yourself now, you are still better off than some people. I have seen a very, you know, brilliant and smart person before. That, ah, what she done for? Nati beri aye won. Ah, ini ajo mo, ima yao, o ma yao, fun la re, lo fun wa re, ba ini ajo aye ge. By becoming pregnant on the way. You want to go to school. You want to do this. You want to do that. But you can't determine it. I do tell my children. You can't determine. I, I'm only mentioning also do. But eh, hey, they do. Eh, hey, they shaking. Eh, hey, they force me. shake on mommy. I said, nobody forced me. I make up my mind when I was small. In your joy, me in his shape. Don't he slay me. I will wait. What they asked me to do, I could remember I was... Investor of Ibadan. I was, I was doing my diploma. Woman Connectors and Earth Education. And I was the one who struggled myself to put myself there. And as I go on with that journey, it was rough because I was actually working. It was a part-time program. I was going through it, paying the, the bill myself. At what age? I think I was about 16, 17. Evan knows much about that. And I was going through the stress. 17, 18. The stress was much. I was working. I was paying my, my bills. It now got to a stage I was unable to, at times, it, I may be late, you know, before coming out of Zate, you know, feeding fish and all sorts. I, before I would get, I would be tired. But what my so woman. My father was a, a, an accountant with the SCOA. Those who produce what? Produce brand new cars. But when it was my time, there was nothing again. So I have to fed myself. And that's the times I tell my children, you are fortunate. I walked myself. So now that you see me, I'm workaholic. There's nothing. I don't like sitting. Emma Bami will. Emma Bami It has been like that right from when I was small. So I, I was going through the strikes, trying to see how I can meet her. And uh, a man started disturbing me. Started disturbing me. If I get, you know, I did not understand the sign. You go S U. You know now, 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 no palm, nothing. But the way I will, I, I love putting on suits, jackets, and all sorts, all those small skipping skirts and all sorts. Anytime I dress like this, my husband say, "Now you turn back to Ulu YMC of those days." I will just laugh. I say, "I'll be more." There are some things we just have to. So I love putting all those things, you know, to be smart. And so I never knew the man was. Looking at something else. Me, I was. So anytime I get there, he will ask me to go back. Go outside. You are late. I went to work before 7 a.m. in the morning. Coming down, you ask me to stay outside. So I will be there. I will be saying, oh, Lord, I'm tired, oh, God. This vision, will I be able to meet up? They are, not, they are discouraging me. So outside, I will be so disturbed. So I came to church one day. I'm, our pastor, Brother Prince, now called me and said, ah, Sister MC, what happened? Why are you so down today? I said, I got to school and uh, they asked me to go back. I said, ah, tell me, what has the person been doing? I explained everything, this and that. Ah, he said, the man have interest in you. Nee. That's what they said they used to face in school, this and that. I said, so what am I going to do now? Eh? And you know me, right from time, I love helping people. I've not yet finished there. Eh? I took Pastor Bolu there too. One of she was in the resort, Jekka Dolo. So we were together in the same department, same class. I was not bothered. And as at times, I get angry. When I see when I'm happy, and you are trying to tell me I'm stupid. So as I'm growing, I begin to think on it. And I detach myself from so many people. So... We, it will now go to the man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
please, please attend to her. What happened is that this and that, she even wants to look for a way to help his own. I'm not yet their mother in the law because I'm not yet married yet. Can you, do you understand? I went through a lot. So, and I, 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 my husband, I said, okay, it was not my husband, pastor. You know, 21 something years, I can't. So, he now, he now said, what can we do? He said, okay, Pastor Akinto Mide was the most senior thing. Pastor Akinto Mide, can you help us? Can you follow uh, Sister MC? Let's see if they can attend to you. Do as if you are the father. And talk to the man. He followed me. Oh. Maybe they will consider that I am not just an ordinary person. So, and when we got there, the man said, she normally comes late. This and that. The man said, ah, she's a busy person. And uh, how can you help her? This and that. We discussed and he said, no problem. Uh, because of you, I will, I will give her a preference. I will allow her. But tell her to be coming on time. I went through that stress. But I was the one looking at where I'm going. If I should fall for him, do you know as I'm talking to you? Pastor Boli was the one who called me a few years ago. That do you know, Mama, the man is dead. I said, what happened? He said, maybe he was sick and this and that. He said a lot on the phone. I said, he's dead. Hey, what you want to be more fun? I don't know what, 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 whether what I'm talking about. One, it will stop me of going forward. I won't be able to achieve my dream. I just can plateau at that level, at that age. I won't be able to achieve my dream. And God destined me to have a better place, a better husband, having a good position, and I want to stop myself. I'm not here where God promised me, but I'm going very far. But if I should stop there, do you know what I am talking about this morning? I won't have the confidence to come out to say it. If you are listening to me, either online or presently you are looking at me, you are still coming up. If you turn around and go low. But you are when you are going to buy a low show go. Because it will determine your destination. It will determine what will come out after. If we can begin, every one of us can think about the destiny that God has for us. And we prepare ourselves for that place. Do you know that every of our life, every one of us, will get a smooth journey in life. We'll get to where we are going easily. We'll, we'll be blessed. We'll be rich. But because we plateau, we turn and say, I'm not going again. We find ourselves inside mess. You say you are in Christ. And you are still taking charm. I've seen people saying, I, uh, uh, can you call? There is something uh, <laughs> that uh, if the, any bad thing is happening here, they will exempt the person. They used to call it one name. Some people, despite being a church goer, coming to church, they are still taking all those kind of charm. They will exempt that person and say he's not the one. They will say you are not the one. He's the person. He's another person. As they are exempting that person from, from good, they will be exempting that person again from evil. I mean, from, I mean, from evil, they will be exempting the person from good. There's a name they used to call it. When we were growing, woman, woman, You know, I came from Ogunse. I understand. Woman, But they won't pick the person. Another person, no man point is see. But when she point is say no me, tire no bambo, afoda. So what is the essence? You are you. We are the one who will determine where we want our how we want our life to be. God destined everyone to be great. God wants us to be to be better, to be rich. But you can determine it.
This is why it is important as children of God that we should pay attention to the provision of God for our divine guidance from falling into errors. God, do you not know? He destined us for good. He programmed every good thing for us. I've shown you now that you can determine whether it will, be, it will come to pass or it will not come to pass. But do you not know that this one he has given us a good destination, a good destiny. What will provide the way out? way of escape. He prepared a provision for us to guide us so that we will stay in line and fulfill our destiny. Somebody should say God is good. I will show us some of the provision God prepared for us. We can still lay a good block you know, on the foundation. The foundation of our faults, you know, she when you break it down. So if you have made a mistake when I come in on and it has affected you in one way or the other, it is possible for you to, 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 to put it in place, to, to adjust it, by looking at all the provisions that God has given to us right from the beginning. Let's look at what are these provisions for our divine guidance. Let's look at it. What are the provisions God prepared for us so that we can fulfill our destiny? Number one, the perfect law of liberty. The perfect law of liberty in the book of James chapter 1 verse 25, James 1 25 says, But whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continue daring, he be not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of work. This man shall be blessed in his deed. James 1 25. But whosoever looketh into the perfect law of, of liberty and continue daring, he be not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of, of, of work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. The word of God is the perfect law of liberty that will guide your heart from falling into demonic error if you give your whole attention to it. But God has made a way of escape. And the first thing he made for us is his perfect law of liberty which is his word. The word of God is the perfect law of liberty that will guide your heart from falling into demonic error if you give your whole attention to it. The Bible says, study the word day and night so that you will know what is inside of it so that it can guide you so that you will not make mistake. The word. The word. When we were coming up, it has become a rule in our church and even in our fellowship Then You must study, come back to church and tell us how many chapters you were you able to read this morning before leaving the house. Not like today. That even if you have time, it's phone. In the middle of the night, phone. In the morning, very early, phone. In the evening, phone. But when you read the word, do you know the word will set you free? Even if you are going towards error, something will come. If you read, study the word, it will pump in you that what you are about to do is error. Because he knows that you will read it. Ah, that man you want to say yes to can destroy your destiny. That friend you want to start following can destroy your destiny. Something will call your attention back from his word. How many of us have time to study the word of God? Some of us, we say we have given our life to Jesus. When last have you opened your Bible? The word, the Bible says you will know the truth. And the truth will set you free. You want to be fulfilled and fulfill your destiny? You don't want the enemy to rob you of your destiny? Because now, in all that I've discussed, because he will, he, will, he will entice you. You are the one that will determine whether you go. Who shall entice Jesus? Only for that okay, see, my worry. Jesus quoted, kill off the defeated, the word. He came, take this stone, turn into bread. Now, she be you are a messiah. On tempt Jesus, but she tempt you. What, what, what? I'm all here. The people will come around you. They want you to see. Ah, uh -uh, your husband cannot carry. Somebody told me then when we were about 
I was, on, I was about to get married. And somebody said, I won't be in your wedding. Uh, how will you say you want to go and marry a pastor? Are you a fool? Do you don't know you will go through stress? You will suffer in, in his hand. What is the meaning of I said, He said, and I will tell you, I won't, one, uh, my, my husband to be said, if you know who will marry, go and resign. Because of that place, the person is dissolving. Let's get another place. I said, okay, the only person that can help me was this very person. And I got to him and said, I'm not going to sign any nonsense. You are not going anywhere. You want to follow a pastor? Are you a fool? Do you know that your future, in those days, more believe in pastor? Even up to now, some people don't believe it. Say, you want to marry a pastor? Ha. With all the, the things that God has given to you, do you think you will be able to fulfill purpose and destiny? I loved. I said, no problem, sir. Just help me to sign. So he signed. I said, I won't be in your wedding. I said, no problem. They have the power to give me money. I have to go through the stress. But they mean, oh, yeah. By the time I was listening to some messages from people, they told me the first one, one Simon, the second one, one just Simon, Shantin Bafaye Mifeni. Determine the word of God will guide you and let you know that you are you otin lawyer fire, otin sunkuro in the plan and the purpose of God for your life. You are going astray. The word will call you back. But show you that you don't know how to read it. But you know how to answer on Twitter, on Instagram, on this, on that. The word don't call. You will see me if I want to post anything on status, the word will be there. Holy Masoro. The word. Do well, dear. It will help you. You are about to enter into danger. The word will draw you back. Your word have I hidden in my heart so that I will not sin against you. See the word of God. So, this is number one provision for our divine guidance. Let's see number two. Follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. It is the gift of God to us. The moment we are saved, he is our instructor. Pay attention to how he passes divine messages to you. Number two, follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. He is the gift of God to us the moment we are saved. He is the gift of God, the perfect gift of God to every woman. Being. As soon as you decided and said, I receive you as the Lord as my savior, Lord, come into me. He has given you the, the Holy Spirit that will guide you. Yeah. Ah. When we were to enter into this year, I was praying, what do you have for us for the next year, Father? Apart from what God's servant received from God, I'll be praying my personal one. I have so many, uh, 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 will I say, assignments, you know, that God has given to me. What do you have in plan for us, oh God? What do you want me to do for 2023? 20, what do you have in mind? I will begin to pray. And the Holy Spirit said to me, January, wait on me throughout the whole month. Shoko me lo soye for me, rara o. Who we cook? I will, be, I will be cooking now. It will cook at times. But the point is, he said, wait on me. Ba we, fun odin di odun kon. I mean, odin di odun kon ye. Ha. I say, ha. But God, at least January 1st, the Holy Spirit, I never knew something is about to happen. Somebody is telling me that there is nothing called Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, wow. In fact, there are sometimes you will do something. The Holy Spirit will be telling you, you behave foolishly today. And some of us, we don't like listening to that. And say, ah, emi oshi, emi bu. Oh, emi mi molo un soro. Ko si emi gidi to masofo, emi, emi buru koto mani, un koto oshi oda. And that's the reason why we don't listen. We always want to hear the good part. Good part is then, un koto oshi, emi oshi fo iti enye lo da. Emi olo un ole sofo ebe. Emi eshu ni ye. But the Holy Spirit will scold you and say, oh, bama ti son, koto son. You know, at times, ha, ah, do not take your spirit from me. I'll begin to pray, Father, Holy Ghost, I'm sorry. And if you see me begging the Holy Spirit, because you dear, if he should leave you, you are empty. That is the power of the Holy Spirit. 
So as we enter the year, I told my husband, January 1st, I will eat, but from 2nd, exempt me. Money, food, I won't eat it. He said, hey, why need you on the second chicken? And I started like that. My husband first joined me and said, I should do my first in February. I'm on my first time. Sorry, New Year. He is personal. Not because I am a pastor's wife. An encounter with the Lord. If you as a wife, you know, devote yourself to the Lord. Do you know you will reveal some things? I never knew what God wanted to do. And I begin to pray. The only thing he asked me to be asking from him is the wisdom. Wisdom, only for 2023. And I begin to pray. I told my husband, I said, ah, wisdom. He be, I'm, here, I'm your husband. I said, ah. He said, I should be asking. So I, said, I want to find. I will hold his hand. Even though he's not fasting, I will hold his hand. We'll pray together. Lord will receive wisdom. Lord will receive wisdom. I did that for a whole month. I, went, I was about to break. One in fasting, one in one, two, three. My husband said, ah, I will do it. It's an instruction from the altar. I will do it. But do you know, there are some things I was expecting to be on a, on a, on a smooth journey. When those attacks came, the Holy Spirit said, do you see why I said you should fast and pray for wisdom? Be quiet. In the shop, be quiet. And everything about it, he said, keep your mouth shut. Wisdom. Wisdom. I asked for it. Because the Holy Spirit led me to wait up. He said, wait upon the Lord. The same thing is what helped Jesus to feel, fulfill his destiny. Follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. He is the gift of God to us. The moment we are saved, he is our instructor. Pay attention to how he passes divine messages to you. John chapter 14 verse 26. John 14 26 says, But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. He shall teach you all things. Oh my coin. I never knew that there will be financial uh, uh, cash challenge for 2023. I have so many things that I used to do. I'll put money here, put money here. So when the whole thing came up in the month of February, ah, meanwhile, as I was waiting upon him, he said, this way may not go through again. I told my husband, I said, Holy Spirit said, things may not, be, will not go through for 2023. My husband said, Oh, Lord, when just let us be praying. So when we now enter into it, my husband said, Ah, I said, Oh, my son, go to door. Bye. But on the path, oh, what's more expect to go? What last it be? God has, the Holy Spirit instructed me that day, do it this way. Tell them that you don't need this money till the end of this so and so day. Let it be like that with them. This way also. So there's another one I normally do. The person called and said, Ah, eh, well, cash problem. The Holy Spirit reminded me. Do you remember I said you should start putting one money? That is what you will use to cover this aspect. Holy Spirit. I'm sorry. You remember the story of one prophet. The Bible says they will, the Holy Spirit will have, will have revealed it to him. And said, These, The people that will come and destroy you are coming towards that side. Pass the other. They said the other opponent now said, Who oh, among you is a problem that will be going to go and meet the, 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 the king of Israel to tell him not to pass. I, I listen here. Who to escape? They said, eh, There is a man. Call Elisha. Ah, even what you are doing in this in the bedroom. Oh boy. He shared me me money. And he will go and tell the person, Mark Babe. Pass to the other side. Ah, that is the person we don't want to listen to. You run the journey of life alone. You will be tired. You need the guidance of the Holy Spirit. In year 2023, I shall share more journey. Pay attention. 
He said, but the comforter which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Those of you who are students, the Holy Spirit is a master, master planner. He is the one who can remember. When the man, when that lecturer is teaching, when he was teaching, this is what he said, this is what he said, this is what he will ask the glasses. You will remember everything. Holy Spirit in the you see some pastor have that confidence to say when I was in so and so so's year in school, that's the power of the Holy Spirit. But she jazz, spiritual jazz. Because the Holy Spirit will tell you, he will remind you. I remember one time I got a revelation that somebody came to me and said. In that revelation, I got there. I said, my former house was there. I said, Oriye, Oriye. People bring shovel and jigger to remove what is inside. And you are there. He said, Mi de mi de If I close my eyes and open, all of you, get out of my, my shop. I send them out in that revelation. I wake up. I said, ah, I never knew nothing. You know, you see Holy Spirit. So when the whole thing started coming up, I, I sat in the shop and I remember that dream. I said, oh, yeah, the day. This, this, this. Go and start doing it again. And I began to do it. I told my husband, I said, my husband laughed and laughed. What? Because he was like, Holy Spirit. And whatsoever I said unto you, the Holy Spirit will remind you. Let's 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 round it off. We have oh, this one is not correct. You, this is the right one. Number three, follow the counsel of genuine children of God. <clears throat> Number three, follow the counsel of genuine children of God with character proofs of what they can say you on. I said this when I was preaching two weeks ago. Follow the counsel when we are talking about mentor. Follow a genuine child, child of God, with character proofs of what they counsel you on. Genuine children of God with character proofs. I, I don't I can't imagine what a divorced person wants to teach me. Be married for. By this year, it will be 21. Somebody did not stay in a marriage more than 10 years. He wants to cancel me. That's the reason why. Open up your eyes. Second wife of a, of, of a man is the one canceling you. What does that person want to teach you? When we are talking about character proof, look at the person. Kiloni, she married it here, work. She won't here, work. And don't walk when you're okay. Kilo, fair, call me. Receive cancer from genuine children of God with character proofs. And Thomas would joke and say, He war, my bear war, my child, I'm sure. In your love, cancer in me. All of us, you know, at times we need to sit down. That's how me I reason. You can't, out of the fullness of, of uh, maybe you have something in abundance, Loti le for me. You continue work on it. You don't have anything to tell me. And that's the reason why not everybody can counsel me. It has been my life right from the beginning. One of us came to Papa and was sharing. He said she lost her husband and somebody took her. Assuming her husband died last week. They took her and they said, let's go to prayer. Let's go for prayer. She said they go to the prayer place. And the first place they took her. The man said, ah, ah, I mean, the woman said, ah, hey, me, me, mo, oh, yeah, God, ah, God. One speaking tongue said, ah, ah, what be nipu kwa woni mo ripe lo kwa yi? She said, she's burst into tears and started crying. The woman said, don't cry. I'm a bad daddy, lo, wo, lo, wo, be, no. Oh, kwa yi, I'm a bad daddy. I'm a bad boy. He said, she was crying more. 
The woman say, "Ali, she don't suck on him." Ali say, "I'm a bunny dog." Oh, you get it? No, we open it. Open it. Don't grab the lorry. Of course, it's going last week. What is your question, man? Ah, you know, at times I wonder why so many people are going to be. You will follow somebody that oh, you see, going to fall of and to follow you only then told you for Ibo no major than see no gota. Follow the counsel of he said the woman when the woman was sharing everybody every one of us were just laughing. I'm a she I went to she stood up she said she went out the person that took her there said ah told me if you come do you want to sorrow for you <laughs> what is so okay, <laughs> she said as she came out she said i saw for me kinori kinori solution to the problem he said one woman about me bow for me love me me to gba lowo mi iye ni ah o oju mo mi ti fo oni won re le yo won ti yin ri gbogbo iran wo won re le won re le mu won re le mu ah o ko yin ta ti sin last week Imagine kill our one waka. Because we've been telling her for years, stop going about. Ori okay, like what? She now says she came here. I saw her that day. That's one thing with me. I saw her. She came inside. She came on the altar. She was crying. I carried my bag. Take my car key. I told the girl at the entrance, I'm going to. When this person finish. Lord the gate, the Lord will answer our prayers in Jesus' name. And I left. She said, Mama, eight hey, years, where you father? Ah, money, eh, what's all your other? What is my I am not God. Pray, he will answer. So go and answer her. She was surprised. Now, in two days, everything she mentioned on the altar, I said, Oh, Lord, oh, you okay? Oh, no, Lord, oh, you okay? Oh, no, Lord, oh, you okay? Oh, no, Receive cancer from new children of God with character proofs. You only character, oh, 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 Proverbs 24, 6 says, For by wise counsel thou shalt make thy war, and in multitude of counselors there is safety. For by we wise counsel thou shalt make thy war. Oh, go ye to back back counsel to that war, bo ye, wa mo bo she ma jagwen. Oh, she kwe, oh, go mbon, wa ju. And don't call any, oh, ya, ma lo, ma lo, ko ku ku lo so ju, oh, go. But when there is right counsel, oh, oh, any yem as a fuck, oh, ya, turn back. But when there is no right cancer, there is no safety. He says, and the multitude of cancer, there is safety. Ephesians 6 1 says, Children, obey your parents in the law, for this is right. Hear the word. Listen, so that you don't fall into the pit. I want to want no pit. You want to fall into the pit. May the Lord grant unto us understanding. So this morning, satanic strategy to rob you of your destiny, I have explained. These are the provisions that God has for us. Study his word. Allow the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Receive right counseling. You will see yourself fulfilling God's divine destiny and purpose for your life in the name of Jesus. Shall we bow our heads this morning as we begin to talk to God. That Father, please help me. Help me to fulfill my destiny. Help me to fulfill the purpose in which you have sent me to the heart. You asked me to come to the heart so that I can fulfill purpose. Lord, help me to fulfill it in the name of Jesus. Lord, help me that the enemy will not succeed to rob me of my destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Help me to fulfill the purpose in which you have sent me to the heart. I shall fulfill my purpose. I shall be greater. I shall be pray, uh, uh, prosperous <clears throat> in the name of Jesus. I will be rich, O oh God, and I will fulfill purpose in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father, for you have answered in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Father, we know of our own we can do nothing. We rely on you this morning. Lord, please help us. In any area we'll make mistakes, we'll put, you know, uh, do things that 
that shifted your plan and purpose for us away from us. Lord, we are sorry. Take us back and let us fulfill purpose in Jesus' name. May we fulfill our destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we pray that we'll make use of all the guidance, the provisions that you have given to us in the name of Jesus. And at the end, we shall glorify your name. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Shall we rise up as we begin to share the